Hi kids, it's Pastor John. I'm here to bring you this week's Kids Connect or children's message, whatever you want to call it. I'm here to talk to you for a few minutes. Every week during the season of Advent, which is the season that comes right before Christmas in churches, we've been talking about a different word. And you may remember some of those words. We're on Sunday four right now, which means we had three words leading up to today. We had hope and peace and joy. And today, on the fourth Sunday of Advent, I'm going to talk to you about this word, L-O-V-E, love. First, we have to light the candles, right? Whoops, that didn't work. Here we go. There's the candle of hope. There's the candle of peace. There's the candle of joy. And now, the candle of love. That's right. Well, what I wanted to tell you about love is something kind of that you might not think that somebody would say when they were trying to tell you about love. If I was going to tell you about love, I would tell you what love is, right? But tonight, or today, what I want to tell you is this is what love is not. Do you know what the opposite of love is? Do you know what an opposite is? An opposite is in or out, right? Those are opposites. Good or bad, those are opposites. Well, the opposite of love, you might think, is a word that has four letters in it also. Maybe you think of hate. Maybe you've heard that word. But one of the things that I learned a long time ago is that the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is a word called apathy. Apathy, A-P-A-T-H-Y. Now, I don't know if you'll remember that word or not, but I hope that you'll remember what I tell you it means. Apathy means I don't care. So the opposite of loving someone is not caring about them. And one of the things that we say is that God loves everyone and that God would like for us to love everyone too. So what does it mean if the opposite of love is not caring? Then love, at least some of it, means that we care. And if God cares about everyone, then what do you think God wants us to do? That's right. God wants us to care about everyone. Now that's really, really hard to do, isn't it? Because there are some people that we don't even know. And then there are some other people that maybe we're afraid of, or some people that don't like us at all. And some people probably don't really care about us. But do you know what? When Jesus was born, he helped us to understand what it means to care about everyone. He cared about the really powerful people, and he cared about the really weak people. He cared about the people who were well, and he cared about the people who were sick. He carried, cared about the people who had lots to eat and the people who had nothing to eat. He cared about everyone. And that is what it means for us to love. That we think about other people the way that God thinks about them, as if they are worth caring about. Thanks for staying with me. I hope you have a really great Christmas.